In this video, the second part in our series, we are going to be examining the general purpose behind the battle mechs ranging from 40 to 55 tons during the Succession War era. This will be a brief overview of the purpose of these machines on the battlefield, and why they are important in any formation. In fact, in this case, they are the heart of any formation. Though there may be larger and more powerful mechs, and though there may be faster and cheaper mechs, the medium mech is the unsung champion of Battletech during the Succession War era. Cheaper and faster than heavies, but still heavier and more capable than lights, medium mechs can fulfill almost any role asked of them, and can do so with confidence under most circumstances. Medium mechs are the primary workhorse of the Inner Sphere's military, fulfilling almost every role imaginable across three of the five major houses, and fulfilling significant roles in the other two great houses as well. This stems from a series of advantages they have to offer. Medium mechs are easier to construct for the relatively backwards nations of the Inner Sphere, but are significantly more adaptable and capable than lights at any mainline role. On top of this, unlike heavies, which are relatively hard to produce, medium mechs can fulfill any role or any niche that is asked of them by these warring states. There is an answer to any problem through the medium mech weight range and chassis. Medium mechs can easily fulfill the following roles, in fact. Recon and reconnaissance. Mainline battle mechs. Long range support mechs. Close range skirmish mechs, often referred to as brawlers. They can even fulfill the hard hitting, heavily armored category in many instances at the cost of some firepower or mobility. Each one of these roles I described above can be serviced by mechs from this weight category, and can be done so in convincing capacity. What gives them this distinct advantage in so many respects are the versatility offered by its weight range. They have an engine to weight ratio that is still favorable, though not quite as much so as with light mechs. They can support significant portions of armor at this speed, making them more durable than their light counterparts. They can carry more sophisticated weapon systems, including the mighty AC-20, the heaviest weapon in the game in this era, and one which can be found in several models of medium mech. All of these factors can be combined to allow such a broad and diverse range of mechs to appear under the label of the medium mech lineup. An example of one of the best all-around mechs in the game is the standard Centurion class mech, the CN9-A variant. It has weapons to fight across all ranges successfully. The powerful AC-10 autocannon fires at short and medium ranges. It has an LRM-10 missile launcher to support long-range fires, and when things come in close, it has additional medium lasers and one in the rear firing arc as well for protection from being swarmed by targets. When deployed in numbers together, in fact, they can cover one another's weakness almost like a phalanx. Well armored for its weight and moving the average speed of a battle mech during the Succession War era, the Centurion is a perfect example of a balanced, powerful design that is a mainline battle mech, and one that can even punch above its weight class under many circumstances. To go into less detail, but to give an example of the flexibility of medium mechs in the same weight category, there is the ENF-4R Enforcer, a close range brawler with an autocannon and large laser more armored and has jump jets, making it a reasonable close range threat, and again, capable of punching above its weight under the right circumstances. For long range support, there are multiple options across the weight class, such as the Whitworth and the Trebuchet, both who offer significant missile payloads at long range, and with the Whitworth having more mobility but less speed between the two of them and weighing 10 tons less. Another example would be the Griffin, a sniper mech that utilizes a particle cannon as well as speed and long-range missiles. For recon, there's the example of the Cicada, the cousin of the Locust. Weighing twice as much, but almost matching its smaller cousin's speed, its own maneuverability is vital in its role as harassment or recon. Though it is armored much more like a light mech, rather than the average medium mech as a compromise to achieve this. There are multiple designs fulfilling more of these roles than I can cover in this video. 
but that is because we only have so much time. Because of the diversity of purpose and because of the frequency of their deployment and production, these are the best example of what mechs appear on the average battlefield of Battletech. Capable of facing off against heavier mechs and capable of fulfilling any purpose to a satisfactory degree on the battlefields of the Inner Sphere, medium mechs are the true lords of the battlefield because they are the ones who dominate it. Not just through the functions they serve, but by the sheer mass of metal they make up on these battlefields. Thank you for joining me here today. If you enjoyed this content, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. With that, I'll catch you in the comments section below.